Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm not I'm not I'm not here by myself anymore. I'm here with D-Free. Yo, what's up man? Thanks for having me on. Thank you. I brought him on as I said last video when I did a bounty rush video, I would bring you in. Little did I know that they have the the one year, the the ramp up to one year would start between the making of that video and right now. Immediately afterwards, yes. <laughs> yeah. So we're here to talk about some, well, we're both pretty hyped for the one year, which is pretty funny because I only started around 90 days ago and I'm already kind of all in for this first year of the game. <laughs> yeah, the game is like super fun, man. I, I, I want them to do more with it and I'm hoping the anniversary kind of leads into that, but I, I enjoy the hell out of the game. Man. Yeah, it's, uh, it's probably one of the most fun PvP mobile games I've had that doesn't completely um, crap the bed in the PvP side of it. <laughs> I say it's the easiest way. Uh, yeah. So we're going to talk about the first year. So first of all, uh, D-Free, what do we got? Because it looks like the ramp up is going to start right after Kaido leaves. Yeah. So uh, Kaido, uh, based on my game right now, I think it's saying the 20th, uh, but that night. So basically 21st. Um, so the anniversary should be starting on the 22nd. So... The campaign would begin now i i, I want to say that you know just because the cam campaign starts doesn't mean immediately we're jumping in with all of the big hitter anniversary stuff and all the crazy stuff that they're going to have for us for anniversary imagine uh, as we imagine right mm -hmm. um but at least the campaign is going to be started there the only downside of that is i made this point in a video i did i was like man this kind of this kind of sucks timing wise because it's like oh hey dokkan's anniversary is yes we both had the same reaction the second we saw the date, which was, damn it, that's Dokkan. <laughs> Why are you... I don't think there's a, a worse time to have your one year than when Dokkan is doing it yeah. at the exact same time. Exactly. And it's like, you know, they they probably had a bunch of dates that were like, okay, because it, it's kind of like Legends. Legends was like, oh, we actually released like two months before, uh, you know, in part to the world and stuff like that. Mm -hmm a date that we want to be our one year anniversary which is why in legends there's the one and a half year anniversary going on but also they kind of have that 590 days thing going on. it's just kind of weird stuff yeah and it, it, you know and we're like four months out from the next anniversary it's just weird right so this game could have done the same thing because they had that super long maintenance they could have just picked the date right if they choose you have to you have to think they know so it's just weird now if yeah. you don't play dokkan jp specifically it's not a problem, but we yeah. do. Maybe they're banking on the fact that there are some One Piece fans that just never got into <laughs> the Dragon Ball Dokkan. There are. I'm definitely. I'm sure there are, man. Yeah, but, definitely. Uh, yeah, it's just a weird time for probably Bandai's biggest games anniversary, which is Dokkan. It's their biggest, best-selling game, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, this one to kind of just be happening at the same time, I think it's kind of bad management, but regardless, I'm still incredibly hyped. <laughs> yes, yes. So the one good thing is that I'll know that Bounty Rush will give me plenty of diamonds on the lead up to <laughs> the the banner oh, itself. Oh yeah, that was a another thing. It's like it's kind of weird that not only are we getting that, but we also immediately have a download celebration right before. Yeah. Like the, the what is it? The one thousand? No, not one thousand. No, fifteen million. Fifteen million. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like it's immediately going from fifteen million downloads right into the anniversary period. Yeah, with that banner, which is if 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 you don't know by now, don't pull on that banner. <laughs> don't don't. Yeah, that that banner is not good. It's not even a good banner. <laughs> no, it's it's not like the. I think I've been kind of ruined by that one step up banner that had five units in it, which was um, it had Katakuri, it had as uh, as uh, um Zolo Juro. Is that what they call him? Yeah, or Zolo yeah. Juro, depending on which <laughs> translation you go by. But it had like only five units in it. It was the most crazy step up in the world. Yeah, that, that one was like a month ago, huh? Yeah. I actually maxed out my Katakuri on that one because that one was too good to miss. Yeah, that it, was a good step up. That was a crazy good step up. So here's the kind of thing going into one the one year. You were telling me this a little bit beforehand, but so the one thing is that they're going to have a bounty. What is it called? Festival, right? Yeah, well, we uh, we know there's always one bounty festival a month. At the end of the month, there's always one. Kaido just so happens to be leaving before the anniversary period. So yeah. one would surmise that in the anniversary, there's going to be another bounty festival. So 
Yeah. Now, here's the thing is that in my experience in the game so far, because when I started, there's been no step ups with bounty festivals on release. They were, there's been ones that's like, oh, get yeah, like, like big the mom. One yeah. Or like, yeah. Or they're on different banners. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. So that's been kind of my worry going into it of like, I really don't know if I'm even going to pull on the main banner because I kind of need the step up there t in order to, to justify it <laughs> because without a step up, it's it can get real i've seen all your summon videos on bounty festivals <laughs> they're rough it's just it sucks man like it, it actually really sucks uh to pull on the initial bounty festival release banners when you don't have access to any sort of step ups it's just not great man it really blows <laughs> um but what they did do a while ago was they did actually if i'm remembering correctly some of you guys might remember a little differently on the initial releases have uh some step up banners that you could pull on that were again initial releases uh but were uh bounty festival step ups right uh and that stopped man that stopped may in that area it's been a long time so it's it's been a while since that has been a thing uh where they've had those but i i think I, what was it was it boa hancock that they did it on like i'd have to go back through my video catalog but a long time ago, that used to be the case. So what I will say is for the anniversary period, obviously, obviously, mm -hmm. I am hoping that that type of thing returns. I don't think I don't think there's any way that we should move into, for the record, anniversary and not have access to a step up bounty festival at all. No matter what they've done in the past, bounty festivals need to at least feel special, in my opinion. But for the anniversary, for sure. Right. Yeah. So I don't think there's any reason we should move on, you know, into this period without that. Yeah, I'll be very... Here's another thing that I'm not 100% sure if they're going to do, just because uh, I think in the past that I've seen, I remember that um, when it was Big Mom and Katakuri released, they were on the same banner. Do you think there's a chance of, like, splitting the banners? Because now there's a lot of Bounty Festival characters, so do you think they could do something like Dokkan where it's like, here's one and it has all these specific ones in it, so it's easier to get them in this banner and then the other one, or is it just going to stay one big banner, you think? Ah, uh, they they could split it up, but they normally save that for um, for like re-release type of banners. Mm -hmm. So I think it's probable if they, if they're gonna drop. Okay, so let, if we're gonna talk about bounty festival, we also need to kind of broach the topic of what would even be the unit for the anniversary yeah you're right we should definitely do that i actually have made a list off <laughs> while i was waiting <laughs> to set up i've made a list of characters who are either not in the game that i think have a chance or are not in the game and i would like them to be in it even though they have no chance <laughs> yeah and also before we do that i thought mm -hmm. it was kind of interesting that i was expecting a paramount war second step up because it was listed as number one yeah we yeah. haven't had it yet it's it, yeah, it should it, yeah. it should be one should be coming up next and then also a free character from the paramount war right that's usually that's what the... i would imagine <laughs> it feels like yeah that, so that maybe between now and then we get that but mm -hmm. i wanted to mention that because what if we stick to paramount wars and somebody like blackbeard does wind up coming out for anniversary yeah i don't think that that alone would be hype enough for most people no. you know how they how they have yeah. to do anniversaries right yeah it's probably gonna be some variation of luffy right so that's just kind of what i was thinking about mm -hmm. definitely i definitely have uh, blackbeard on this list only because blackbeard is on the title screen of the game and he does not have a single character <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. that's true for a while that was kind of the case for multiple characters actually it yeah it's kind of weird like there was no sabos at for a while and he was there and just stuff like that yeah bo is on there but bo eventually they all showed up but blackbeard is literally the last person on that title screen that does not have a character yet i actually wouldn't be surprised if he's the second paramount war one the other one that i was thinking of if it's not blackbeard if chances would be marco i think out of all the characters from the Paramount War, Marco the one would be really cool. Yeah, Marco would be really cool, and I also think Marco has the most people going. Why isn't Marco in the game already? Yeah, because people people also kind of like always do this thing where it's like, oh, so and so's in the game, but not this character. Like yeah. for example, um, what's a good one? Uh, we have. Hmm. We have uh the, the, the Usopp's girlfriend <laughs> as a five. Oh, Kaya? Yeah, yeah. Kaya's in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she has she has a four star and Captain Kuro is, is a two star. 
Yeah, it's really I mean, no, three star maybe. Anyways, yeah, but there's always like stuff like that. For example, um, I guess an example would be Shanks. Like oh, we have, yeah. um, we have all these characters, but we don't have a, a summonable Shanks, for example, right? Yeah, we have the so, the extremely pretty Shanks. There's something weird about that 3D model that I don't like. It's like. It, his, his face is like too beautiful for some reason it doesn't mesh with the rest of the game <laughs> yeah we got shanks um so yeah i don't know i for one i think that shanks is on the list too for the record I yeah i shanks is on here too i would think the um the the way later shanks the no i don't know if they yeah, yeah no it would be modern shanks i think with uh the no cap and all that it's not yeah. definitely not going to be another shanks like that yeah, no arm too. Unless they can't do the no arm, because I'm not sure if that also applies the same thing here. That might be why they haven't done the Shanks. I don't know. <sighs> it's so sad that all these one arm, uh, one arm characters are not being <laughs> well represented I... because of some damn law. Yeah, if that even is the case, I don't know. I guess we'll get like really concrete evidence if they decide to do a one arm Shanks. Yeah. If that's the case. Or if they'll do the Dragon Ball game route where future Gohan has one arm technically, but they always give him a second arm, it's just limp. <laughs> that'll give... like that'll be really interesting to see if, if this game does that with Shanks. He has a second arm, but it's just limp. He just has a cape over his dead arm the entire time <laughs> you're playing as him, so you never see. <laughs> uh, that'd yeah, be he's definitely on the list though. I think I think Shanks, unlike Blackbeard, would be enough, I think, for a lot of people yeah, to, to be tempted to pull in. Because he is one of the I'd say more popular characters in the series. You could even keep it with um, Paramount War because when I want the modern day Shanks has not really done much besides when he showed up to the war and it, it immediately stopped. Yeah, that was that's pretty much it. And then they have the whole um, stuff going on with him currently and, and what yes. he was doing alongside Wano stuff. So yeah, uh, it's not really much to because Shanks doesn't really get a whole whole lot of screen time. I think though. If we're talking about characters on the list, the most popular one I'd say would probably be again, like I mentioned earlier, a variation of Luffy, mm. Snake Man. Snake Man, yes. I'm actually kind of surprised that if anything, they'll release Snake Man and then they'll finally give Katakuri a voice. Because I was about to say, here's another weird thing: Bon Clay yeah. is voiced, Katakuri is not voiced. <laughs> <laughs> and I, and I love my boy Bon Clay, but come on, <laughs> come on. <laughs> yeah, Katakuri not being voiced is interesting, man. But they don't, I don't know. It took them a while to voice some of those other characters, too. Yeah, the two and years later, just thing, recently. Yeah, yeah, then they have this thing where, like, some of the characters, like, have more voices than the others, pretty much. It's just kind of weird. Yeah. like. But like, it, it, it's really noticeable when you do, like, summons, and, like, every other character has a voice. Yeah, when they say something. <laughs> yeah, when your Katakuri is voiceless, but meanwhile, Frankie's going, Frankie! <laughs> like, immediately <laughs> when you summon. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. So, I, I mean, who else did you have on the list, though, for that? All right. All right. We, you already got most of them. I got Blackbeard on the list. I got Shanks. A new Mihawk would also kind of be cool because we have only the old Mihawk. The one that was from, I think, the original of the game. We haven't had another Mihawk since. The basic idea is, like, it's either characters that don't have a character or haven't had one since the, the launch, basically. The only thing about Mihawk is I'm not sure which which version of Mihawk they would do. Actually, we don't have the one from the Paramount War, right? The one we currently have is not based off of that one? No, no, he's uh, East Blue. Okay, there you go. So I think they could definitely do um, Mihawk from the Paramount War, where he does like that giant-ass sword slash and have the longest AoE in the world to <laughs> just go through the entire thing or something. <laughs> Mihawk would be cool, man. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah. Uh, here's these two are kind of together. I think some people also were expecting them to maybe be the uh, the anniversary. Gear two, Luffy and Rob Lucci from oh, is it Lucci or Lucio? I can't. Uh, Lucci. Yeah, I only I read it from the um, official source, so some of the names are kind of messed up in my head. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, people. So they kind of just skipped over all of that when they were doing characters. It, so they did the thing that a lot of Bandai games do. In which they start trying to follow the order of the series and then say, oh, hey, this isn't a good idea. Let's just jump ahead or like speed through all of this old stuff because nobody cares about the old, old stuff for the most part. Unfortunately, all of that CP uh, stuff got kind of skipped over as a result. Yeah. I, they'll obviously go back and do them at some point. I just don't think that. OK, so OK, so let me get back to the initial thing um, where mm -hmm. you said 
Uh, what if we put multiple characters on a on a, fa on a, ba on a banner or something like that? Just to answer that, if, if it's just if it's like Snake Man, he mm -hmm. might come out alongside something else. I don't think they're gonna do another Katakuri. It might be something entirely different, not related to Snake Man. Like for example, Snake Man and Shanks could be a thing on a banner. Um, but I think that if it's a character like Snake Man, for example, he could carry on a good like bounty festival step up type of deal. He can carry that on his own and uh, be hype enough for anniversary, right? Yes. Yeah, um, but Snake, if it's something yeah. else like Rob Lucci, then they're definitely going to need to combo him with something else because it's just not enough. In which in that case, I could see multiple characters on one banner. I don't think they do dual like do uh, Dokkan festival, uh, dual bounty festivals at mm -hmm. one time. Um, but I, I think that they could do multiple on one banner, like Big Mom and Katakuri. I think that, for example, with that, I think they wanted to do Big Mom, but kind of were like, eh, people would probably care a lot more if Katakuri was here. So, like, Yeah, that's fair. Kata Katakuri really steals the spotlight from Big Mom in that arc. Yeah, he's a, a lot more likable, in my opinion. So. Yes, yeah, 100%. Especially because all Big Mom does the whole arc is mom, 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 <laughs> over and over. Go mama and then kind of get really creepy <laughs> for the entirety yeah. of it. <laughs> so yeah <laughs> yeah yeah that that's fair um speaking of being able to carry a banner all himself here it is on he made the list soga king we do not have a soga king unit at all oh my god <laughs> imagine i if, would actually not be mad at that if they I, did an anniversary <laughs> soga king banner i would actually not be mad at that it wouldn't it wouldn't make any money but i wouldn't be mad at that <laughs> it would make zero dollars i would pull on it though because that would be great yeah. especially if like when you summon him he does the song so it plays oh the soga God. king song i love soga king i'm waiting for him to come in like yeah. I'm, I'm a sucker for that type of cheesy stuff man yeah i would 100 percent pull <laughs> I can, even if uh, if he's not a banner unit, I could also see him maybe being a free to play unit just during that time, like uh, the anniversary free to play unit, Soga King. I could see it. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Now here are the last two ones. This one I'm pretty I'm only I'm only putting on there because I think he's also on the title screen, but is not actually a character. But there's no way for him to be actually a banner unit, and that's Buggy in his Warlord form. I think the we don't even have a single five buggy. I think we only have like the 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 th the, the two buggy, the the runner buggy, the only buggy in the entire game. Uh, and he's yeah, on yeah. And he's on the title screen as a warlord um, because he was made a seven warlord at some point. And I guess the reason they haven't made him into that because I think besides Stampede, he hasn't really done anything. Yeah. So. Yeah, that one's a little weird. I like. I buggy. like more Stampede stuff. Like would, Boa Hancock from Stampede, like that'd be. Oof, man. Do you? I actually There's like would, so much we could get. Yeah, it's true. I would actually really like it if they brought back Stampede because the 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 three defender Luffy from Stampede is apparently pretty good, but also the Sabo, which everyone uses, is only has and the um and the defender uh shoot what is his name i'm forgetting his name right now smoker um that you see a whole bunch in pvp people have them you can't get them not even in bounty festivals wow yeah those characters are completely gone huh they yeah they were they were so far the only characters that were limited i was thinking the christmas characters might be but those uh, Stampede units were the only ones that actually wound up being limited so far. Even yeah. the Christmas ones were on other banners. Yeah, the Christmas ones stayed over. Stampede has stayed by itself, so that kind of makes me feel like maybe they'll do something from Stampede as well. Maybe it's one of those things of like, we'll have a bounty festival, but then there's also, they'll bring that back. Because I would actually really like to pull, at least to have one copy. Because uh, yeah. it's a real bummer, especially if you're like, if you like Sabo, that green Sabo is so good. <laughs> yeah, I love that Sabo, man. I think I think it speaking of Stampede, I don't know when the Blu-ray releases. I think that'll be the next time we get anything related to that, probably. Ah oh, damn. <sighs> I would like Personally, to come anyway. Back. That's also the only time they've ever done boss battles too, right? Because Bullet has been the only boss battle in the entire game. Yes. Yes. Bullet was the first and only. Hmm. All so right. okay, let's let's talk content then. Um, for the anniversary, like something like that. Oh, oh, wait. Let me actually mention this last one, just because it's real quick, and I just realized oh, okay. this is the last one on my list. It is the fact that we don't have Kaido with the fruit. The current Kaido we have does not have the zone fruit. Yeah, he can't go dragon. Yeah, but what if we? <laughs> what if what we if had a actually drop a dragon Kaido? Imagine if they just had a giant dragon Kaido 
for uh, for a character with his that giant blast that he does, it would probably be extremely hard to balance. Which is also the reason why I think we don't have a monster chopper, uh, just because yeah. they're too big. But yeah, I, think, I think that's the problem. Yeah, that's the main problem is that these kit those characters are huge as hell. So how do you actually make a character based off of them? Um, but I was realizing that when I was looking at the Kaido, because I was like, he doesn't have the fruit at all, which makes it seem like he hasn't eaten the fruit yet. Which is weird, because that's what they did with the Sabo. Because the, um, the Sabo we have the that's not Stampede doesn't have the fruit. So it made me wonder, like, what is going on? <laughs> Why doesn't he have the zone fruit? Yeah. I don't know. These guys are weird with that type of stuff. Hopefully, though, we get some of these more characters like that. I want to see some big stuff. Yeah, definitely. All right. That's all I have on my list. So let's go into the actual content. Unless you have any character you can think of that you would like to see as like an anniversary type thing before we move on to the content stuff in it. Ah, uh, no, that's pretty much it. All right. Fair enough. I made a decent enough list then, it sounds like. No, I think I think a lot of people would be in agreement with a lot of it, like something like a Shank, uh, Snake Man. I think Snake Man is at the top of everybody's list. The thing is, I, 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 this game, like I was mentioning, kind of does this thing where they kind of just bounce all over the place. There's no reason not to get Snake Man at this point because we already have Gear 4. We already have Katakuri. There's no reason not to. Um, they could drop a shirtless Katakuri, I guess, because the one we have currently is pre-fight, pretty much. Oh, yeah, the uh, dr- drop the one with the, the with the big mouth. Yeah, that one. Uh, they could do something like that. Although, I, I mean, it's... Uh, you know, time flies, man. Katakuri feels like he's still a new unit. I was saying this in my video earlier where I used Jinbei a little bit. Even though Jinbei's been out for like two and a half months. Katakuri and them have been out for what? Like almost four months? Five? It's been a while. So, yeah. you know, I, I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't feel bad if they dropped the second unit for Katakuri this soon, technically. Yeah. The but only, uh, they the, could definitely do whatever, whenever. So. Yeah, yeah, and they the can only, also pair these guys in whatever order. It doesn't have to be specifically from one part of the series, you know. You know? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, the one thing that's weird is that it would it, Katakuri would enter the same state that Ace was until recently, where all the Ace units were limited. Because uh, we only had the Bounty Festival Ace, and then we had the... And then, uh, bounty... The, uh, no, the... The Cola. 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 So for the longest time, those were the only Aces you had until the Paramount War Ace showed up and was like... Which, thank God, because the Cola one is so annoying. He's just a carbon copy of the other one. He's just a little bit better because of his uniques being different. But, like, stop. I don't care. I don't, I don't want the same play style. I wanted the new one. Thank you. I love the new one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the new one has been great. The one thing that has been tempting me so hard, which is why they did it, is making me want to pull on that ace so much. Because I got him at, I think, step two. And since then, I've been like, oh, there's three more steps. I can at least get one other copy and get him <laughs> PvP ready. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He'll, he'll be... Don't worry about it. He'll be... Uh, actually, he might actually now, because the season just reset today, he might actually be in those chests too, right? I think so. I'll have to check. But I the think point he's is, be available now. So I did the same thing for Reju, and Reju has should not stop stalking me since I got her on her step ups. So I'm just kind of like, there's no real reason for me to go so ham for him now. He's gonna be yeah. in every other step up. Yep, exactly. Um, don't don't forget that. Like that's that's the big thing when it comes to these step ups. Like that's why I stopped get, getting forcing level eight um, around Christmas because I was like, you know what, they're just gonna show up on every. Um, the Christmas seems I got to level 70 and I just got to level 80 like over the course of today. Yeah. Uh, and that's, that's that's about a month later. Not even a month later, like three weeks later or something like that for some of them. So, it, I mean, that's not bad timing, you know, for free, for free fragments, basically. Yeah, so. yeah. So definitely helps to wait. All right. So let's get into what the, the content could be for the first year anniversary. Now, this one's tough, because I don't know 100% what they can do besides PvP. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, I One thing that I really want to see is some more, like, solo, single-player stuff. I This game, they don't care about that for some reason. They dropped Survival 100 and just kind of said, ah, screw single-player after that. And Survival 100 is cool. Uh, private battles. No, I mean, you can do that if you want to. I don't ever play that. Um, solo mode for the longest time hadn't been updated. They updated it like two months ago. Now it's still waiting again, I think. I think anyway. Um, more single player stuff in general would be cool. But um, I want to see actually, you brought up boss battles. I want to see another one of those because we've only had one of those. And I think that what they've done is with this game, 
every new type of gameplay has been a derivative of the previous, the, the base one. Where it's like, yeah. okay, tons of treasure. Well, it's still the same thing. It's just a really big map with a bunch of treasure. Um, the only different one, I guess, would be Brawl 8, right? Because they always have those challenge battles, which is the same thing. All they do is restrict you. Mm-hmm. Most of the time, you can't use your own characters. Every blue moon, you can. Um, they'll have a theme going on or whatever. That'll probably happen again, by the way. I think I think most likely thing is just be a regular challenge battle with, like, you know, predetermined random characters. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, because it's actually been a while since we've had one of those. Yeah, all that's the why reason- I, said I, I think that's very likely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I would like to see a boss, though. Yeah, if if they, if they wanted to do Kaido Dragon, I think they could definitely have him be the boss. <laughs> that way you could that's a good cuz Bullet is freaking huge from what I've only I've never fought Bullet. I've only seen your videos fighting Bullet and he looked Oh, yeah, yeah. He was big. That man was bigger than half the characters in the game. Yeah, he was huge. He's like he was like big mom size. Yeah, really like big. if they didn't like have to shrink big mom, <laughs> then uh <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he was really big. So I, I think that that could actually be a way to do something. Because it's like a raid mode. It's That's all it really is, is. It's like a raid fight. You guys go in and you fight the boss. That's all it is, right? So you could do things like Kaido. You can do things like Monster Chopper if you wanted to. You could do a lot more stuff like that there, like we were talking about. Yeah, that'd be really fun. That'd be a really good uh, mode for sure. I w- there's something that I really wish they would add, and I understand why they haven't added it, just because I think it would actually kind of break the game. But I would really like it if you could form a squad up with friends and then go into actual PvP. The reason why they wouldn't do it is very simple, is because if you have any form of communication, you're already at a, such a huge advantage over everyone else. Hey, man. If you can communicate with these people, you basically win. Yes, there's no when a team is working at a hundred percent. That's how you get that like. How did we lose in a minute? It's because the other team was just listening so good to each other that they were able to coordinate everything. Yeah, exactly. You basically. Uh, but the only reason I want it is for selfish reasons because I it's really hard because the only way to do it is private match. I've been wanting to do videos with you specifically, but there's no w- good way for us to do it. It would have to be private. Yeah, and then, did you know that if you go into private solo, you'll get matched up with other people who are just playing private? Really? I thought they were bots. Oh, are they bots? Okay, I thought they were actual people, because I did it once, because I was wondering, like, what is this? And it was the easiest fight I've ever had, so it was probably bots. I don't know, if you go in and try it again, check their IDs. If they're zeros, they're bots. Yeah, I learned that from watching your Tons of Treasure <laughs> video. <laughs> yep. It's great because if you go into that, you have to watch that video twice. You have to watch once and then there's a twist at the end, like in the midpoint. And then see it again and then listen to all your commentary with the idea that you're fighting bots. <laughs> it changes everything. It's amazing. So there you go. Go see your vi- that video twice. I watched it twice specifically for that reason. <laughs> Freaking bots. Um... But yeah, for game modes, something like that, and then probably, they haven't done this, but I would be surprised if they didn't do, like, double speed for treadmills, maybe? I don't know what they're actually called. They've been calling it the treadmill this entire time. The the thing where you put... Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah, special training. Yeah, special training. We haven't had I've any... I've been saying that for a while. Like, I, I, it seems like it's scary. Like, when that came out, I was like, man, this is going to be definitely something they do and more campaigns on, like, oh, double speed or halftime. Like, you know... I don't know why they haven't done that yet. I would imagine for the anniversary they finally do that. Finally. Yeah. Because that, it's like a wasted opportunity if they don't. Yeah. Uh I also think it's kind of a bummer that if you don't have the um the special pass, you only have two, but two is perfectly fine. <laughs> I just like Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. You also don't get that thirty quip upgrade slot either. Yeah. Dang. It's a lot of things uh hidden behind that specific thing. But it's alright. I also wouldn't mind for maybe anniversary if they did like a deal on that specific thing, but then it would be very unfortunate for all the people who <laughs> bought the deal beforehand and were not able to get the deal. Like, because they never do, they do a lot of sales in this game. They never put those two on discount. The one that's like daily come in and get like five diamonds and um, some EXP and coins, and then you get access to the other stuff. That stuff never goes on sale. It's yeah, always the same true. price. They started, speaking of sales, adding, you know, the diamonds to the tickets. That's really good, too. Yeah, I noticed that. They must have heard, they must have seen your videos where you complained about um, spending $40. crap. 
<laughs> well, well, you stopped because eventually you just kept doing videos where you're like, let's do the ticket, and then you would get one unit, and you're like, ah, that was $40 yeah, right there. That's why. That's exactly why I stopped. I was like, oh, I just, okay. Because on the surface, it's not a bad deal. If you're going to spend and buy two multis anyway, it's why not, right? You even get a little bit of a discount because you get 20 units yeah. instead of 90, which is not even 20 units worth. You're a little shy. So if they put the crystals in there. I was like, "Oh, I'm, def I'm definitely getting it now." Yeah, that's a lot. Of, that's a much better deal now. <laughs> yeah, like what the heck? Because I was like, "Man, this is trash." And that so when that when that first came out is when they basically stopped having good bounty festivals. Man, I can't remember what the last one was. Man, I think it might have been Boa Hancock, the Red Runner Boa Hancock. I think that might have been it. Yeah, because that was also the first character uh, that you got to 100, right? And then also regretted it immediately afterwards. Yeah, because she was just never good. Never. No. That was very um, <laughs> Yeah, she was my first level 100. I think that was it, man. And then I think whatever bounty festival came up next, I remember everybody being so disappointed. Oh, there's no step ups. I have to wait for the next step up. And lo and behold, there never was one again. So mm. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, but they started doing the thing where they have more like step ups on the other manners because they started doing it two years later like and that was pretty much when they started oh hey let's just do step ups and guarantee all the time so mm. it's interesting it definitely the step ups are much more geared to people who don't really spend so yeah. it's unfortunate oh. that it seems like they got replaced with that but who knows maybe also, for I think I think part of the reason why they might have stopped step ups is because I think the rates were lower back Back then, I think they were a three percent rate. Ooh, really? Not five percent. Yeah, I think they switched to five, and that might have been one. That's... Don't 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 quote me, guys listening. Um, th this is me trying to remember. Literally almost a year ago. Literally almost a year ago. <laughs> so yeah, it's been a while. Um, but I think so. I do think so. All right. Uh, did you do you remember ever doing a summoning video on the the boa? I thought I did. Um, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think I have it. Mm -hmm. Uh, fair enough. Cause I was about to I'm say, I kinda, I'm also kind of surprised that the anniversary is this date because the game came back up in February, I believe. Mm -hmm. So it's, I guess maybe that's why I'm saying like the campaign is starting. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's actually starting. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll be interested to see what happens here because I think there's one of two things will happen. Either the bounty festival will be the thing that's like, oh, the step ups are returning, or they throw out a bounty festival, and then it's like, it's gonna be the unit that's it's not it's, it's not actually gonna be the unit that's for the anniversary, and they're gonna do what they did for Ace, where it's like step ups. But then that would also mean that they, I don't know, maybe it's just because Dokkan is broken broken me, but the idea of like an anniversary unit not being limited in some way feels weird. Yeah. Right? That's just like, well, yeah, now. I think it would definitely be, you know, limited in some capacity. I just searched up a video I did the day. So the funny thing is, um, Bounty Rush came back maybe like a day or so before I recorded this video, which was crazy because my daughter was born the day after this video was record, recorded. Oh. Um, yeah, so she's about to turn one next month, too. But, um, what's her first year anniversary banner going to be like? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what you got you got saved up you got... whatever whatever bounty rushes is man <laughs> that's what it is um so my main channel came out on february 6th so if they're really gonna go a year then you'd be looking towards first week of february instead of like the last week of january mm. this is a little bit of discrepancy there that was when it came back up after its prolonged maintenance and if you want to know when the prolonged maintenance took place, I even have a video pre-maintenance. <laughs> um, I'll pull that up here. Really quick. Didn't you see that video? One I did time? see that video. It's a trip yeah. because it's it's it doesn't look anything like Bounty Rush. March. The game was down for a year. Oh my God! This video was in March of 2018 when it was when it got released, and I was like, "Bro, this game is so bare bones. It's not ready." And, and I'm agree. gonna do a. Yeah, they took it down. I'm going to do a, uh, a video kind of covering how things were in that initial release for the anniversary. It's so safe. Oh, okay. I might have told you about this like a few months ago, but eventually I'm going to do that. Yeah, you told me uh, in private because that's the only way I talked about Bounty Rush with people is in private. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the game was so different. 
there, man. But in a year and a, a year, we're basically hold on. In March, the game will have been out for two years technically. So that's how things are looking. So this first anniversary better be hype, man, because it's basically two. Yeah, it's it's got to deliver some form of hype, and I really do think it's going to, because I would love it if more people played Bounty Rush, because it's so much fun, and it's really, like, easy to get into, and it's, it's so good that it got me into One Piece. <laughs> like, I would not actually have read and caught up to One Piece if it wasn't for Bounty Rush. Yeah, I actually, I've had a few people say that. Yeah. <laughs> Because that's how I, because I, I started Bounty Rush and I had the the bare bones understanding. I'm like, all right, I'm pretty sure that's Luffy because he's made of rubber. That's Zolo. That's Nami. That's and I that was basically all I knew. And then I saw other characters. I'm like, what the hell is this big mom? I cannot explain this to my brother who asked, what is that? I'm like, I don't have a good answer for you, bro. She's just a gigantic mom for all I know. <laughs> yep. All right, man. You need to wrap us because that's my dinner's done. All right, then. D Free's dinner is done, and so is this first year anniversary video. I want to thank D Free for joining me. Yeah, no problem, man. Anytime. Yeah. And I want to thank everyone listening. If you've made it this far, I say you should throw a like up on this. I'm bad at telling people to leave likes on videos. Yeah, definitely need to get on that, bro. I Some need... people don't like it, but the thing is that it helps. It, it does really up. help. And it really uh, makes me feel good. I don't know if it actually helps your. I don't, I'm not 100% sure how it helps in the YouTube sense of it. I just like knowing that people enjoyed what I make. That's basically how no, I no, see no. it. Yeah, no, true. What I meant was people, some people don't want to say, uh, like, you know, some commenters or whatever don't like it. But the thing is, in the grand scheme of things, most people need the reminder. You know, some people don't, but most people do. So. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You should write it down on your board. Say, in the beginning of the video, call to action. That's what it's called. Dude, I don't even have a, a room. How do you expect me to put something on a board? <laughs> <I don't... laughs> get a sticky note, man. That's all you need. All right, fair enough. I'll get a sticky note. And with yeah. that, goodbye, everyone. I'll see you guys for next video I decide to do. Whatever it might be. Hopefully, check in for Bounty Rush stuff. I'll definitely be keep making stuff on it. Check out DFree's channels. Chances are, if you're listening to this, you should already be decided to subscribe to DFree. I don't know anyone who's not subscribed to me that's also subscribed to you. <laughs> but anyway yeah. goodbye everyone peace